Welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor, and if you're new here, welcome to the Daily Tea. Woo, y'all. It feels so good. Like, you have no idea how good it feels to be sitting down here, back in front of the camera, like, talking to you all. It feels like it's been forever since I've made a video. I mean, it hasn't been that, that long, but it, it feels that long to me because I was putting out a video at least every week, and... I had to take some time off. <clears throat> My last video will explain why I had to take some time off, but I needed to take I needed to take some self care. I needed to have some self love, and I needed to take a little break. If you haven't watched my other video, my last video, you can go watch it. And like I said, it will pretty much explain why I have been gone for a little bit. But that's fine. It's all good. I'm still very much in the healing process. Like, that's not, it's not an overnight thing. But I felt that it was time to come back and I'm in a much better place than I was before. And taking that time off was very, very much needed. And I'm glad that I did. So I can bring you all the quality. Again, quality over quantity. So I took my time off and I'm back. And it just feels good. It feels really good to be back. And to be sitting down and just in front of you all today but speaking of today today's video is gonna be a little different um, it ain't gonna be a crazy makeup tutorial so I'm in the process of like submitting to some things and <laughs> that I'm not gonna tell you all what I'm doing yet because I am gonna have a separate video on that and when that separate video will be up I'm not sure but I thought I would just come to you all today and just show you the process of me getting ready or me submitting to said things that will be kept under wraps until I'm <laughs> until I'm ready to tell you all what I'm submitting for. This is basically going to be a no makeup, no makeup makeup look, even though they ask for no makeup. But I can't not put something on my face because I don't know if y'all can see, you know, we're still in the healing process. That means crying still happens, puffy eyes still happen, and dark circles still happen. So we got to try to cover up those things, but still making myself look like myself if you know what i mean i'm really not even going to be barely putting on any foundation it's going to be all about just looking healthy and glowy and just making myself look like an elevated version of what i already look like because i'm fierce and bad already before we get into this makeup look please make sure to like comment and subscribe i would love you all to join my family also I'm, I'm saying that when i sit down in front of the camera and just talk and be real that's when i get like the most views so if y'all want to see more videos like that i mean not of me crying but like <laughs> of me just like being real and sitting in front of the camera and just talking i just comment down below which i want to hear i also just noticed i don't really have a like a get to know me video so i'll probably film that at some point too <laughs> but yeah if you all want to know how i'm gonna get this look then keep on watching so i have already heavily moisturized my skin like it is so moisturized i'm dang on near looking a little greasy but guess what i'm gonna add even more moisture to my skin i'm just going in with the pond's dry skin cream if you can see that right there and i'm just gonna apply a little bit to my face because we want to be even more moisturized like i said focusing a lot on the skin i'm gonna bring that down to my neck and i'm just gonna leave a little bit of space so that i don't hit my eyebrows because i'm gonna do my eyebrows next and if you haven't looked at my i have a video on my skincare routine if y'all haven't watched that yet go watch it because pretty much is like the base of how i get my skin to look how it looks before i put my makeup on so do yourself a favor and watch that i put my scarf on because my hair was kind of sticking up and i needed to lay down for what 
I have to get done. So yeah, y'all just gonna get do-rag tailor. Next, I'm gonna be working on my brows. I am going for a very natural brow. The way that my brows are just set up, I just, I can't. I, I, need, I need a little bit of a fill in. So I'm gonna put some brows on and I'm gonna take the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim in the color and black brown. I'm just gonna go in and I'm going to brush up my brows here. And I'm just gonna go in. I'm not even gonna draw an outline. I'm literally just going to take small flicks and just add them into my brows. I like this brow pencil because it's very easy to like, you know, make flicks to the brow and give off hair-like strokes. Next, I'm going to be moving on to the skin. That moisturizer has had all the time in the world to sink in and moisturize the skin. So I'm going to actually use the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk in the color Deep. That's all I'm going to use. <laughs> Not that much, if you can see. I'm going to use that and I'm actually going to use my hands for this. I'm just going to blend that on my face like it was a moisturizer. I don't know if you can see, but my skin, it looks still like, it still looks like skin. It's just, you know, if I had any, like a lot of imperfection or blemishes, it's covered a little bit. I'm even going to go in with just like a damp beauty um, blender and I'm just going to sponge my face is damp and it's just going to press that product in a little bit better okay next I'm going to go in with the covergirl clean fresh hydrating concealer in the shade rich deep I actually messed up this is a little too light so we're not going we're not going to put too much we're going to be using this sparingly anyways but two dots there two dots there two dots on the outside and two dots on the other side. You wanna use a hydrating concealer because you don't want those under eyes to be looking crusty and flaky. And then I'm just gonna take, um, what brush is this? This is the Morphe G26 brush. And I'm just gonna use that and I'm just going to blend this out under my eyes. I'm not trying to like highlight, I'm just trying to cover up the darkness a little bit so I'm gonna move on to a little bit of contouring and when I say a little bit I mean like we just try to add a little dimension to the face so that we don't look so flat I'm not even gonna set my face at all I want my face to look pretty dewy so I'm not gonna do any of that stuff I'm gonna take a little bit of my favorite contour, y'all already know, the one from Black Radiance in this huge fluffy brush. And I'm literally just going to stamp that onto my cheek, well, onto my contour, just to add a little bit of definition. This is literally like a no makeup makeup. This is the epitome of barely using any products. And that's why skincare is so important. Because if you do your skincare right, you ain't even gotta put all that makeup on anyways. I just wanna look refreshed. I'm trying to make these people think that I don't have any makeup on. Even though I'm wearing a little bit. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take that contour shade as well and literally just throw that onto my crease a little bit. Just to add a little dimension. I'm gonna move on to blush. This is where we cannot go overboard at all when it comes to the blush because then they're really gonna know that you're wearing makeup. I'm gonna just go in with my CoverGirl True Blend um, blush in the color Sweet Seduction. I'm gonna use the same brush that I use for my contour. I'm gonna pat like 
twice. I'm even gonna rub it off on my like paper towel here. And I'm just going to pat that onto the apples on my cheek very lightly. Just to add a little, little blush, not too much. And a little bit on the, on the apples. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's, it's there, but it's not there, you know? It's there, but it's not there. Pinch my cheeks a little bit just to bring some color in, like how they did back in the day, old school. That's it, we're not gonna do no more. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of mascara onto my lashes, and I'm not gonna get too crazy with this. I'm just applying a light coat the lashes side note though can y'all believe that christmas is literally like a couple of days away where did the time go i i am just trying to understand where that time went because it was definitely just august <laughs> in my mind it was just august like where where did it go i'm i'm still confused who's excited for christmas I am. I mean, I ain't really got no money like that, but <laughs> I'm still excited. I'm home and I'm with family. So, you know, I have a lot to be grateful for this year. I definitely do. Even in all of the craziness, still, still so much to be grateful for. So I do not take anything lightly. So I'm very excited about this Christmas. I gotta put some lip balm on because my lips are so dry. This is literally my favorite. The Rosebud Salve from Smith's. It's my go-to. Ain't nobody got time for no rusty, crusty, dry behind lips. And finally, lips. Can't really be going crazy with the lips, so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of my favorite gloss, the L'Oreal Lifter Gloss in the color Stone. And I'm just going to pat that on to my lips and just take my finger and I'm just going to run that. And to finish it off, I'm going to use my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And I'm going to hold my head back so I don't want my face to be wet. And I'm just going to lightly set my face just to add a little bit of dewiness back into it add a little bit more all right and here is the finished look i don't know about you i'm looking here in the monitor and i'm looking in my mirror and i'm looking in the camera and it don't really look like i got that much makeup on my face now we know and I know, and you know, that we got a little bit of makeup on. But this, to me, is the definition. This, to me, is the definition of a no makeup makeup look. Super simple, super easy. Honestly, I think this might be my new go-to, like, get ready, gotta go out the house, but don't want to be looking like a zombie makeup. I mean, I barely have anything on my face but my face just looks fresh. Ooh, even my skin still feels good. Please, moisturize. It, it makes a difference. After all that said and done, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you all liked what you saw, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that I can keep bringing you all this beautiful content. And I'm so happy to be back. I had such a good time, even if it was a short little time with you all. It, it, still, it still feels good to be back. And I will update y'all about what I did this makeup for in a video when it's time. So that's why you gotta be subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss that video when it does come out. If you haven't hit the notification bell, please make sure to do that too so you don't miss out on anything. All right guys, I love you all and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.